Oh my God, this is very, very bad. Look here, there's no parking brakes. We have no parking brake. What? Oh wait, this piece that is missing? Hey everyone, welcome back to Life As Usual. In today's video, we are going to show you how to inspect the parking brake shoes on your Range Rover L322. Regular inspection of your parking brake shoes is essential to ensure they are in good condition and functioning properly. There is something wrong with it, which I cannot pinpoint what it is exactly. I feel like one side is holding uh, on the car more than the other side. Of course, you can only tell that if you're parking in a slope. They are working, but not to perfection, okay? So I'm gonna make them perfect. So I don't know what's wrong with them. Do they need replacing? Do the, does the hardware, the springs inside need replacing or what's going on? So today we are actually going to inspect the uh, rear parking brakes and see what the problem is. Then we're gonna go ahead and order the parts for it. But I just need to understand what the problem is. So let's take a look at it today and see uh, if we can sort it out. Uh, if something, if perhaps it could be just need tightening. This is as simple as that. Now there is a procedure that you can go to uh, electronically to make them tighter. Uh, I did that multiple times. It still hasn't worked out. Uh, so it's time to get our hands dirty and take a look at the brakes. So without further ado, should we get started? Let's do this. Make sure to follow the steps from our previous video on safely jacking up your Range Rover L322 and make sure to use the wheel shocks. After jacking up the car safely, you have to release the parking brakes. We have removed the rear wheel. We have to remove two bolts here in the back. When we remove those two bolts, we can remove the caliper out so we can take a look at the desk here. So this is the caliper and behind the caliper, if we look down here, you can see there's one bolt over here. I'm using 80 millimeter socket and it's going to go here into this uh, bolt and there's another bolt underneath it just right here we need to remove both of these bolts so we can remove the caliper so now i'm going to break this bolt loose with the 18 millimeter socket using a breaker bar let's we'll see if i'm going to succeed wow <laughs> i didn't realize this is going to be that tight okay it's fine off wow be prepared to put some muscle into it So that's how it looks like, and it's an 18 millimeter. That's the second bolt. Brake pads out. Brake pads are very healthy and everything is okay. No, nothing needs replacing, but we must not re uh, twist the brake lines or the cable. So we have to put it in a position uh, where we cannot, you know, uh, twist them. So what I'm going to do, there are a few ways. You can leave them there or you could get like a, um, what's it called, Alex? A rope? rope? Yeah. Yeah. If you leave it here, perhaps, and then maybe we can, so it doesn't uh, fall on us around. But be careful, don't don't uh, pinch a cable or anything like that. And maybe put it back through here. Maybe make a loop. Yeah. yeah. So it doesn't fall. Okay. Next, we have to uh, take a look at this disc brake. Can you see here? There's an Allen, uh, well, it's an Allen screwdriver screw, and then here there's a, it's like a plastic. Okay. Yeah. We need to remove this plastic, and we need to. Uh, remove this so first let's remove this plastic and i'll show you why we're removing this plastic okay mm -hmm. it's really simple just should come out okay mm -hmm. like that but there's a lot of rust inside i suspect that's the issue with our brakes it's just too much rust now what we need to do is we need to twist this and bring it down to here the handbrake must be uh, released by the way while we're doing this otherwise you won't be able to turn the the desk like this okay and we are going to turn the desk let's let's see if we can remove this allen key let's try six number six okay. yeah so we'll just take it out it's coming out nicely yeah nice and easy yeah and now it should come off whoa yeah basically we do not have parking brakes take a look here look here there's no parking brakes we have no parking brake what Oh wait, this piece that is missing? This... Yeah, so basically, can you see this? Yeah. It's supposed to be like this all the round here. So here, yeah? Yeah, so this is not supposed to be like this. We're supposed to have brakes here. That's what is making the sound. Yeah, there's no there's no brakes. It's supposed to be like brake brakes here. So thicker, yeah? Yeah. Oh, we have none. We have, yeah. Well, <laughs> so, ladies and gentlemen, zero parking brakes. <laughs> yeah. 
Maybe that's why? I it's like, so. well, okay, this, what's left over here is so thin. Can you see how thin it is? It's extremely, extremely thin. So I, I guess we know what the problem is. We need new parking brakes. I was, I was opening this, expecting to have maybe a bit of rust that needs cleaning, maybe some grease and off you go, but no, no. Not at all. Not at all. There's nothing. There's absolutely nothing there. Wow, look, look, look how thin. I can, I can... Oh my ah, god. Or... That's part of the brakes. Oh, I'm glad we did this job then. Yeah, the yeah. That's, that's part of the brakes. That's, that's not supposed to be in my hand. First of all, it needs to be thick and it's not supposed to be in my hand. It's supposed to be there. Oh my ah. god. This is very, very bad. This I think we need to put one. stuff back, mm -hmm. not drive the car and go ahead and uh, buy uh, the products and come install them. But so I can make my my job a little bit easier. What I'm going to do, I'm going to put some grease on this so it doesn't get stuck, okay? Yeah. And uh, it needs a lot of cleaning. So I'm going to do a bit of cleaning. But for now, I'm going to put grease. Wow, I just, sorry, I'm just trying to understand the situation here. Wow. I'll show you how the, with the new one, how it looks yeah. like. Yeah, so I'm going to put some grease and put, put everything back because it's going to rain a lot because I don't know if we're going to fix it this week or next week, but I don't want it to run find the parts and buy the parts yeah because mm. but i don't want it to rust so i'm going to use a bit of copper grease and i'm using a brush you can use whatever you want you can use your fingers so i'm going to put the these ones back like so the allen key screw should say yeah is it called allen screw I think. allen screw it doesn't do much this one just holds everything in place while you're working on it so i'm just gonna use a bit of the grease and put it inside so it doesn't rust i think that the correct torque for this one is 16 newton that's enough is that's 16 basically it's nothing so the next thing i will do is go out and buy new parking brake shoes you will see me replacing the parking brake shoe on the next video and it goes without saying if you do notice any issues with your parking brake shoes it is recommended to replace them as soon as possible to ensure proper parking brake function. After that, we reinstalled the rear wheels and tightened the lug nut to 140 newton meter, and we carefully lowered the vehicle back on the ground, removing the jack stands and the hydraulic jack. And that's it. You have now successfully inspected the parking brake shoes on your Range Rover L322. Reckless inspection is crucial for maintaining the safety and performance of your vehicle. If you found this video helpful, please give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to Life As Usual for more tips and tricks. Thanks for watching and we will see you in the next video. Like that. Yeah. If we want to, we can put a little bit here. Like that. And that will be threaded in. And we we'll close it to maximum, like so. Okay, we're gonna close it to maximum. The top notch, it will, the top two notches here, remember it's one notch here, one notch here. It goes on, I think it's called actuator, this device, okay? Like so.